On June 5th, 1925, Tom Gibbons, brilliant heavyweight boxer, takes on the fast-rising young Marine, Gene Tunney. We're looking at Gene two weeks before the fight, here seen running in the center while flanked on both sides by two of his sparring mates. Tunney has been running 15 miles a day and is in great physical condition for this big test. Gene has been absolutely tireless in his training routine. He says that he feels he could go 30 rounds without letting up for an instant. Never was there a fighter more ready for a supreme effort. As round one gets underway, Gene doesn't waste any time using that left hand like a rapier. Gibbons is going to have to pursue his younger opponent. He knows that it's going to take an accurate head and body attack to slow down the brilliant boxing ex-Marine. Gibbons has certainly got his work cut out for him as he's a 34-year-old veteran compared to the 27-year-old Gene Tunney, who is considered to be in the very prime of his great career. Gibbons turned professional in 1911 and has had 106 professional fights in the past 14 years, winning 104 and losing only two. This is one of the most fantastic records in the history of boxing. Tom has fought three no-decision contests with the great Harry Greb. During that period of time, the only way a fighter could win was by the knockout route. If both fighters were standing on their feet at the end of ten rounds, there was no decision rendered. But after those three fights with Harry Greb, newspaper men were unable to agree whether Greb or Gibbons had won on points. That's how close they were. Round one draws to a close with Tunney getting the edge on his relentlessly accurate jab. Here in the beginning of round 12, Tunney has taken complete command over the aging veteran Tom Gibbons. Gene is showing the strength and confidence which has carried him to 76 victories in 77 professional prize fights. It's all Tunney now. Jabs, hooks, straight right hands. Gibbons is reeling under the constant pressure. Gene steps in and lands a tremendous right-hand punch to the jaw, flooring Gibbons for the first time in his professional career. The referee's count reaches eight. Tunney moves in quickly and lands two smashing right hands to the head, which put Gibbons down for the second time. Tunney goes to a neutral corner as the referee moves in to toll the final ten. As Gibbons gets to his feet, Tunney moves in to console and congratulate his dejected opponent. Fifteen months later, this same Gene Tunney will become the eighth heavyweight champion of the world by dethroning the great Manasseh Moeller, Jack Dempsey. Gene will later retire undefeated and go down in boxing history as one of the greatest heavyweights of all.